Hello friends, colleagues, strangers. Today we're going to take Unity's pretty fantastic survival shooter and really make it interesting with just six steps to get this. To get started, let's set up the choreographer Unity extension. And let's shut off the audio ducking. We're going to do this to allow the music to play through. It helps emphasize timing. We need to edit the master mixer and remove the duck volume effect from the music audio group. Now that the audio is set up the way we want it, we're going to go about making the necessary changes to get the gun fire to link up to the audio. First, locate the shooting script that drives the firing mechanic. We're going to disable the normal firing logic and make some changes to allow choreographer to drive things. Now that the normal shooting is disabled, we're going to set up a choreographer that will tell the new shooting logic when to fire. I'm going to quickly add the new music we want to use, courtesy of OMFG, and add the choreography event track that will control the firing. You can learn about choreography data creation and setup with our free guide. But the quick and dirty of it is, first, create a choreography asset. Then, create a choreography track asset. You're going to add the choreography track to the choreography. Open the choreography asset to the choreography editor. Create a new event track. Add our music to the choreography. Then set up the tempo, enabling choreographer to help with the event timing. Do this by adding a second set tempo section and set where it begins by setting the start sample. You're then going to set the tempo section to the correct BPM. In this case, 210 BPM works fairly well. With the choreography event track set up, we're now ready to start laying down the events we want to link to music. Because we're a little short on time, we're going to skip the actual event making. If you have a MIDI representation of your music, the events can be quickly imported. The choreographer track is in place to give the firing me mechanism event updates based on music. Now we just have to connect the choreography to the firing mechanism. First, we're going to add the choreographer component to the scene. Then we're going to find the background music game com object, add the choreographer component to the object, add the simple music player component to the object, and then we're going to add our newly created choreographer data to the simple music player. The simple music player will play back the audio clip in the choreography through the audio source component on the background music object. With these components in place, we just need to connect the firing logic to the music with a pretty simple script. I code really fast, so try not to blink. Achoo! I hope you caught all of that, but if you didn't, you can get the full script in the link below. And play the scene. Pretty awesome, right? It shouldn't take more than a half hour to set up. And this concludes Enhancing Your Game with Choreographer, Shooting to Music. Thanks for watching.